Hey everybody, I'm Andy Cunningham, one of the sales engineers with LinkSpring, and today we're going to do a factory reset on the LinkSpring Edge 534 controller. So let's get started. I'll direct your attention to the screen where we use PuTTY. I'll quickly review my configuration. So you click Serial, COM3, 115.2, 8 data bits, 1 stop bit, none, and none. So we'll go on session and we'll choose, I've got this saved as Jace 8000 debug. We'll load it and we'll hit open. And with any luck, we are on COM3. But remember, you have to plug in your USB to the debug port on the front of the controller. And you'll know that it's alive when you get that sound. So COM3 didn't work for me. So let's just try COM4. Yes, we could open Device Manager and see exactly what it is, but probably it's going to be COM3 or COM4. And there we go. So we're up and running. When you connect, it presents you with a blank screen, and you just have a cursor right here, and all you have to do is press Enter. And it tells you, Genesis Edge Controller Reset. Please enter yes below. This cannot be undone. You have to type capital Y-E-S and press return, and then it's going to give you a message that says wait two minutes. So I set a timer for two and a half minutes. There we go. And the message says factory reset in progress. Do not power off. The controller will automatically reboot when reset is complete. This process takes approximately two minutes. Now I've sat and watched these things before, and it's not really clear when the thing actually does reboot itself and we're not getting any output from the serial shell. But my experience is that if you wait the two and a half minutes, two minutes and 30 seconds, and then go in and scan for an IP, we're gonna check that, I'll show you how that works. And you'll be able to see that it's been reset to a factory default IP address and that tells you that it's been factory reset. We'll go through Pro Builder and, and look at what that looks like as well. So, one minute and 30 seconds remaining. So we wait. And we're back. We have about five seconds remaining. Two, one. There we go. Two and a half minutes. Now, I just close this window. I like to use this angry IP scanner, Google it, you'll find it. I know the IP address is going to be somewhere between 192.168.1.120 and 192.168.1.129. Yes, I know you can check the host ID and look for other things, but I just do this. It's, you know, reliable, it works. So we'll hit start, discard previous results. And sure enough, here's our controller here on 192.168.1.121. So we found one host alive. So let's go into Pro Builder and open that. So I'm going to do File, Open, Platform, 192.168.1.121. One dot one two one. Think. Yes. We'll hit OK. Again, we know that it's been factory reset because we saw that this IP address got set back to the original factory default IP address based on the last number of its host ID. Or I know for sure that it's not what it originally was because I've got my sticker here. And I can see by the key change in the certificate that it wants me to accept it. And that's telling me that this is a brand new factory reset controller. So the password should be Tritium. And the password should be Niagara. And we'll choose OK. And it's coming up with the change platform defaults wizard. So that wasn't the point of this video. The point of this video was to simply show you how to do a factory reset on a LinkSpring 
controller, whether it be a 534 or a 514 or a 414 or a VAV, that's how it works. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. Again, I'm Andy Cunningham with LinkSpring. Find me on LinkedIn. I'll be happy to help you out any way that I can. Thanks for watching. Bye, everybody.